Hello, hello everyone. My name is Mars Magica, and today we're gonna be doing a more relaxed video. Today I'm just gonna be doing a simple speed paint with Deku. This is just a cozy speed paint where I redraw an old Deku artwork. Yeah, there's not gonna be much going on. This is kind of like a relaxed voiceover. I'm just watching my speed paint and trying to tell you guys what's going on. So um, my original artwork is this very simple drawing of Deku with cozy sweater, cozy scarf, and he's just having a nice cup of hot chocolate and having a jolly old time. So what I wanted to do with this was turn it into a kind of scene, a little scenario for everyone to enjoy. And so I turned this into a setting where Deku is leaning on a wall next to this desk, next to candlelight in a nice rainy weather kind of scenario. So. I wanted to do this because there'd be a bit of contrast between the warmth of candlelight and the rainy season, so it'll be really nice to try working with those colors. And also because I kind of want to show off in a way, I just wanted to do something that kind of showed my improvement over time, even though I don't, don't really uh, I'm gonna kind of mess up my words here, but I don't really mind my old artwork. Like I find it nice, I find it cute, and I still like it the way it is. But with this artwork, I'm kind of trying to transform it into something else. And doing that, I want to show what I've improved on. And most of it has been background work that I've been improving with. I actually really like the way I used to draw eyes in that artwork, but I also really like the way I draw eyes now, so I'm not gonna go back to that style. I'm currently in the speed paint just experimenting with the colors and adding on top of the sketch because this is a method I've been trying out where I color the sketch first so that when I do start the line art I can just copy the colors that I do experiment with and also just experimenting with colors on top of the sketch allows you to be more relaxed with coloring and more experimentative if that's the word um so I just I really wanted to test out the warmth of the scene and the contrast with the blue of the window so that was really helpful for me. But yeah, I really don't mind my old artwork and I find it cute as it is. But of course I had to show off in some sort of way. And also it's just good to challenge yourself every, every once in a while and looking back on how I used to draw as well is pretty fun. Right now I'm doing the line art and I don't really do much with my line art. I don't go I used to do this thing where I used to go from thick to thin and be very, um, what's it called? Kind of calligraphy style with my line art, but I don't do that as much as anymore because I tend to focus more on the colors and textures later on in the artwork and I can't show off in everything, so I just focus on that right now. And also I feel like if I add too much texture to the line art or if I create too much variety, it might overwhelm the piece. And so I, I've been avoiding that and just going for standard thin line art. It also helps me, me, it helps me be more detailed in the end because it's no thick line art and it's not getting in the way of the colors. Right now I'm just color picking the colors I chose when I did the colored sketch and I'm just adding everything in. This really made the process a lot easier because now I already have all the colors that I need and all of the colors I've chosen for the shadows and stuff. So I don't need to worry about what colors to pick and it's just, it's, it's just more the process of 
refining everything and making sure it looks good and blending things in. So, um, right now I am putting Multiply on top of Deku's hair and honestly Multiply is a saving grace in this scenario because um, having two, like having more than one color in one part of your drawing, it's a bit harder to shade because you'd have to um, put different shading colors for the different colors, but Multiply does that for you, which is why I love that blending mode. Um, and I also really like Add, but I'm kind of not doing Add yet. I usually put Add towards the end of my art, but I did do it to his face a little. Here I'm just referencing an old artwork, well not really an old old artwork, but I'm referencing an image that I did earlier this year where I really like the way I colored my, my eyes, so I'm just trying to make sure I'm staying consistent with how I color my eyes. Cause sometimes I do forget, I'm just like, how do I color your eyes again? So I think it's pretty cool to be able to reference your own art every once in a while to keep things consistent. I used to struggle a lot with um, making sure my style is consistent because I was just like, well, um, well, I like so many different styles, how am I supposed to choose just one? And I'm so happy I could finally choose one style now. It's just great. Like, It makes me happy to see my art and think, yes, that's me. That's exactly what I want and not feel like... Um, a constant need to change it and feel like it's not good enough. So I'm very happy with that. I'm very happy that I've reached this part of my art journey where I could just enjoy how my art looks and just improve in other areas instead of worrying about style. Because I feel like worrying too much about style could read, not read, lead to like a sort of plateau, is that the word? kind of lead to a stop in other areas and now I'm more trying to challenge myself in different areas for example backgrounds which is why I did this in the first place it's not because I'm good in backgrounds but um, I've improved in them and I'm trying to improve more so of course I'm doing it more it's been a really fun thing to do though I really love doing backgrounds I used to like dread it and sometimes I still do, like it really depends. Like for example, perspective, oh, perspective is like, it's just, <laughs> it's scary. And so I still need to improve a lot in perspective, but sometimes backgrounds are fun, especially if they're more organic. Cause I usually really enjoy backgrounds with nature and stuff, which is why you'd see my, if you've seen my Nezuko artwork, the one with the flower fields and stuff, I just draw a bunch of flowers. Oh my gosh, that took so long and it was kind of like, it was very tedious because I had to redraw a bunch of flowers and those flowers weren't always copied and pasted. Like I drew a bunch of different flowers and it was really fun because it was organic. There's no really, there's no, there's not really any rules to it. So... It was honestly fun in some ways, although sometimes it's not good to torture yourself with something. Now we're reaching towards the end of the artwork and I'm just adding the details. I did a moving blur for the rain drops and stuff and I'm doing the lighting of the reflections of the um, window, the glass of the window. And of course, adding some texture to his cheeks, some warm blush. It's like when your face gets red from like a nice hot beverage, especially after um, coming in from the cold weather, like your face gets a bit flushed because it's finally getting some warmth. And I think that's a really nice feeling. So I wanted to add that feeling in to the piece. And honestly, towards the end, I felt so proud of this piece. It feels so cozy and it's exactly how I'd like to spend my winters. By the way, if you're not Australian or if you're not in my kind of 
、um, my kind of side of the world, <laughs> it's actually winter here. So, yeah, I'm in my cozy gear as well. I'm having some tea. And I should have encouraged you guys at the beginning of the video to get some tea and relax with me. But you know what? It's never too late for tea. So, if you want some tea, get some. And here I am adding some filters, blurring my little line art, adding some colors with airbrush. And this part is so fun. It's just adding a bunch of effects. And of course, I kind of I had to forget something towards the end. And what I did forget was the smoke, so I add that in the end. But yeah, this is like progressing towards the end of the speed paint. And it's not so speedy towards the end. Here it is, my finished artwork. Do you guys like my artwork? I hope you like it. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> I hope you guys liked my little cozy video where I draw cozy Deku. Maybe I'll draw cozy Deku more often. What do you guys think? Or maybe I should do more chill redraws like this.、Um, But yeah, if you guys like this video, press the like button below. And if you guys aren't already,、um, subscribe to join my flower garden. And I'll be sure to take care of you. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. And see you guys in the next video. Bye.